free, open and rules-based Indo-Pacific is the top priority for both our countries. The regional and global environment around us have evolved considerably since we met last in Tokyo. There is further complexity and volatility in the Indo-Pacific region and the world at large. India and Japan are resilient in our opposition to terrorism, including cross-border terrorism. Let me add my words of welcome to Foreign Minister Kamikawa and Defence Minister Kihara, who are here for the third round of the India-Japan 2 plus 2 Foreign and Defence Ministerial meeting. We have just concluded extensive and productive exchange of views on cross-cutting issues pertaining to defence and security. Prior to that, I also met Foreign Minister Kamikawa separately to discuss bilateral, regional and international issues. The regional and global environment around us have evolved considerably since we met last in Tokyo two years ago. There is further complexity and volatility in the Indo-Pacific region and the world at large. Our economic landscape is also more complex, making transparency, predictability and resilience an essential part of our security. The world of technology may present new opportunities, but they have also thrown up new challenges. Our 2 plus 2 dialogue today was an occasion to share assessments and agree on cooperation in this regard. A free, open and rules-based Indo-Pacific is the top priority for both our countries. We explored the possibility of coordinating our respective security and development assistance where our interests converge. We discussed the unfolding new avenues for technology, research and industrial cooperation between us as well. The growth of technology also necessitates human resource cooperation semiconductors being a very good example. This is crucial for our diversification and de-risking efforts for our economic and technology security overall and for sustained economic resilience of the world. We are also considering a dialogue that will seek to give shape to these common objectives. Such trust-based collaboration in emerging technologies, including in the field of defense, will progress best when our approaches to technology sharing evolve. To this end, I requested our Japanese colleagues to look into regulatory bottlenecks that currently exist. India and Japan are resolute in our opposition to terrorism, including cross-border terrorism. We discussed strengthening our capacity building cooperation, including on dealing with challenges emanating in cyberspace and through the misuse of digital technologies. We have underlined our interest in deepening information sharing and cooperation for protection of critical information infrastructure. I appreciate Minister Kamikawa's determined effort to highlight the role of women for peace and security. India is the very first country to operationalize UN Security Council Resolution 1325. I'm happy to announce that we will be holding a first ever UN peacekeeping for women's, Women Officers of the Global South Conference in the first half of 2025. Given Foreign Minister Kamikawa's leadership on this matter, I extended a special invitation to Japan to join this conference. As members of the G4, India and Japan have been in the forefront of the advocacy for reform multilateralism. In the meeting today with Foreign Minister Kamikawa, I took stock of the current efforts on the reform of the UN Security Council and underline the need for our united effort. This year marks the 10th anniversary of the India-Japan Strategic and Global Partnership. Our relations have matured since then. We agreed today to task our officials with preparing a new framework for security cooperation. I also share our desire for a new vision for our overall partnership that orients our relations in line with our evolving national goals and priorities. Let me express my appreciation for Japan's involvement in the development of the Northeast region of India through the India-Japan Act East Forum. I requested a Foreign Minister Kamikawa for a continued support. We also discussed progressing the high-speed railway cooperation. 
Our strategic partnership needs to be anchored in more robust people-to-people -people engagement. We discussed expanding the flow of skills and talents as also of students and tourists. Policy changes to enable this are a priority. I am happy to share with you that in order to nurture our growing people-to-people -people ties, we will open a new consulate in the city of Fukuoka. I requested for Mr. Kamikawa for her support to make this consulate operational at an early date. Our meetings today were truly productive and forward-looking. The discussions at the 2 plus 2 meeting have paved the way for a robust agenda of cooperation on cross-cutting defense and foreign policy issues. I thank our two Japanese colleagues and their teams for the positive spirit in which they have approached today's talks. I deeply appreciate their support and commitment and look forward to working with them to build a better future for ourselves and for our shared region. Thank you.